Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, second round of the Chalice, Aureolensis versus Arcani. Arcani with the Dwarves on his drive, Aureolensis with the Dark Elves, and with me in the booth is the is the man, the myth, the legend, PTK. Hello everybody. <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much for joining us, PTK. Prime time, Kevin, or past tense, <laughs> K Fog, which, whichever. Which they will float your boat today. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. It's funny, isn't it? The tractor with thick skull, but yeah, there's like nothing else to give him. <laughs> he got guard, which I, I would probably have taken grab before thick skull. Yeah. That was the works. But besides that. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple block? They don't start with multiple block, do they? No, you could have gone that way. Yeah, I wouldn't But yeah, that. Fig Skull is perfect meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, party time. Party time, kid. <laughs> yeah, Got a that's new pretty one. Good. That's pretty good. <laughs> the problem with the multi-blocking with it is it doesn't have freaking blocks. You don't really want to do that. <laughs> It doesn't even look like you want to block with it. Period. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you want jugs. glitch for three dice, I guess. Jugs? Yeah, jugs. I wouldn't mind. Oh, he starts with jugs, doesn't he? Duh. Yeah, it has. Uh, so you want to. It's not even. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, he starts. Oh, he glitched with somebody else, yeah. It's just, it's just a roadblock. Yeah. Yeah, he's. Uh... Do we have speakers on or something similar? Silly. Oh uh, yeah, probably probably because I've got my I I have don't bother putting on headphones. Sorry. Uh, so <laughs> that will explain it. Yeah, I'm a bit of an asshole like that, but it takes effort, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing Jimmy Fantastic doesn't like, it's effort. <laughs> it, it takes a lot of effort not taking any effort. Yeah, it takes a bit. <laughs> You've got to plug in headphones and wear them as well. It's uncomfortable, you know. Look at all these people <laughs> whining about fucking wearing wearing masks, which is a little bit of discomfort, but you know can potentially save lives. All you get from that having uh, headphones on is the audio's a little bit better. Not worth it, is it? Not worth it for me. Thank you very much. Got lovely ball mirrors, and it means you cannot hear all, all the screaming in the background. It's perfect. <laughs> I'm jumping on chairs and all this shit stuff. <laughs> this PT, oh, he's got he's got a witch, a mighty blow witch. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I want Juggernaut. Wow. I want Juggernaut of my witches. Yeah, but after wrestle, Juggernaut becomes a lot worse, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, but Breath of the Mighty Blow is not great either, is it? No, true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you probably are one. It's just going to wrestle fast on both. I guess. I guess last time I had a wrestle with uh, Juggernaut Wizard, I did roll the double of the first skill, which makes it slightly easier nice. to go <laughs> Juggernaut's block. <laughs> 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 That's a good question from NB Mag too. How much are you been Games Workshop to protect Amazons from nerfs? Um, I think we should just be happy if we get Amazons. <laughs> oh, dude. How much stun firm does that Kenny have? Oof. One, two, three. It's it's not that stun firm heavy. I was watching Chuck play the Chuck has like, I don't know, it seems like everybody has got stand <laughs> firm and then he has a spring five runner behind him. Mm. <laughs> Just... This guy's got lots of mighty blows in the arcane. How many has he got? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six <laughs> mighty blow. But only. Is that including uh, the tractor? Is that uh, excluding the seven on the Oh, tractor? no, yeah, sorry, just skillops, skillops wise. Because obviously he's got the, the, the death roll of stun firm as well. Uh, isn't six, it, so. No, seven skillops, that's a stun guard as oh, well. Yeah. Stun mighty blow, what? Three, four, five, six, yeah, so seven mighty blow. 
and three <laughs> and three stand firm, and then he's got both the uh, the death <clears throat> roller. <laughs> that's uh... that's a lot of mighty blow. That's a, that is maybe too much mighty blow, isn't it? Yeah, I, I personally, I think it, some of them should have been stand firm instead. Yeah, I, I like stand firm on the blitzers because. They don't have tackles, so they're usually not a great blitzing option, are they? That's that's what I think. But again, he's gone the other way. He's just giving good tackle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've just seen that now. <laughs> Fuck it. Give it tackle, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it's like five or six. That's <laughs> mental. Yeah. But there's been some good... This is another good tackle team. Um, that's... Really been some nice elf teams this season. Mm. Mm. And we had to say goodbye to one of them yesterday. Oh, what, a shame. what a shame. <laughs> yeah, but, but they, they are fast though, aren't they? So like, there is a lot to be said for giving them. Um, and they are running out fast of really good skills as well, because they yeah. kind of have what they need. Yeah. So normals because you have general strings access. There's not that many. Um, yeah. But that said, I even don't mind having uh, jocks on uh, on rolls either. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. What to be fair, once you when, you when you're starting with block and tackle, that's <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty good, isn't it? So you only yeah. really need like guard and stun firm. Guard, mighty plus stun firm, and everything is all right. Oh yeah. How it kicks us? It's it's really interesting. Like I, I know a Canadian. You know, it's, it's a lovely Canadian, but he is a bit of his play style is a bit of a banging. He he likes to hit pieces. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, so I'm interesting to see if he gets him in, into what troubles himself by doing that. Mm. Um, And I'm, I'm pretty sure um, Olensis will, will really would want it to change that mighty blow to Juggernaut in this matchup. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's that's fair to say. Oh, yeah, I can see Fan Fox is coming to the same conclusion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the thing is now he can again he can potentially actually bully his way up by the sideline with all with the tractor and the stand phone. Yeah, <clears throat> which you normally is not able to do against Dark Elf because of the witch and dodging sidestep pieces. Yep. <laughs> oh God, I'm turned in. I'm turned in. Jim McMahon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> do you like um, something? Yeah. Do you like um, Olenz's uh, scribble pick on his uh, super blitzer? Uh no. Well, it's a, it's a bit of a weird one. I can see why he did it. Yeah. Um. But what do you take? What are you wanted? Uh, sidestep or leap? I mean, leap's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I, yeah. I could have. I can. I will probably have gone leap myself. Yeah. Just because of this string. With string 485, movement 8, the leap will just make him impossible to hold. Yeah, he's like Mega Dancer, isn't he? He's crazy. With AV8, it's just... Yeah. He's like a dancer with three stats. <laughs> um, but it's, of course, it's it's a bit... Also unlucky with the strip ball not running into something that's actually having two hands. If it does not two hands, it will be a good piece. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, but it's a crazy blitzer. So what did he... So you roll 80 first, then move, then you took dodge, and then... You get blessed with strings and an already great piece. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, well, he's a blitzer with three stats and two skills. <laughs> Just shows how much better dancers are, doesn't it? <laughs> Starting with Bludge Leap. 
Yeah, yeah pretty good. But <laughs> it could also be good for good old tackle. Also yeah. a pretty nice piece to hunt down other elves with. But I guess with him already having two tackle on good pieces, he might have thought it was not worth it. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't I hate tackle, but and I wouldn't hate leap, and I, even sidesteps like just good, isn't it? You know, it gives sidestep to movement eight agility five yeah. for one turns, and just generally brilliant skill to have. So, yeah, I wouldn't hate. Yeah. I, I don't hate taking anything here. No, I guess with with the stat with the stat line, you cannot really pick anything that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unless you're taking pass block or something. <laughs> but even pass block at 85, in, in theory, it's for any pieces with 85 and dodge, it's not as terrible as on many other pieces. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've won game with I've won game with Eldritch pass block before. Yeah, yeah, I I haven't, but I nearly did. <laughs> um, well, he's a sister. On it. Well, his yeah. assist, I think it was uh, his minus one on, a, on, on the passing play made, made him fumble. Yeah. Oh man, I, I had a game versus Ducky where I was down loads of TV and uh, I had Eldrill and he his bull centaur intercepted on a straight six and my uh, my Eldrill failed on a five plus with a reroll. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Well, um, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about it. It's a kick off. It's a kick, if I remember right, kick off return and pass block is combined into one skill. In, yes, in the new true. rules, which yeah. which is pretty cool because it's two marking on skills that potentially could work for the same player, but with them combined, at least you get a two for one discount on them instead of just one. Yeah, I really like that. I've been saying that for years that they should that they should combine those, and I'm I'm glad that. Uh, that they have. Yeah. Oh, I should have been standing oh, <laughs> Yeah, and another armor break. He's uh, he's getting a, he's getting some nice armor breaks to stop the progress. Yeah, but he's he's also not really positioning well, isn't he? You got to say here, uh, Arcane, because he's got. He's got one stun firm forward, but his his two other stun firms are right at the back, not really doing much. Yeah, not anchoring his offense. It's almost like seeing Johanian deciding to base without stun firms against Wood Elf, <laughs> and then get chain pushed out of his cage. Funny enough. <laughs> it's a big surprise. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it it you know it is good, isn't it? Stand stand firm, especially against elves, is good. I think. Yeah, it definitely allows you to play more aggressive than than without it. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing better in dwarfs like rookie is dwarf just like base your up where you can hit hit, hit the side, the end of the line and then change with one of them back and then. I like almost end up pushing every everybody one square back, even the ones you don't get. Yeah. I mean, obviously not. And they're not the, the thing is, that not even overpowered against elves already, because they're still slow as fuck and okay. responsive as shit. So as soon as something is going wrong, it's a problem. Yeah, and if they so I, I don't even f think they're particularly over all about against what. Um, no, they're not. Abs they're absolutely categorically not overpowered against elves. They're kind of good against elves, just because nothing else is good against elves. <laughs> like nothing's really good against elves, is it? That's the thing. Yeah. So. That kind of limits how good you can be versus elves, but where nothing can be good against them. And now you better get that stand firmer in the back up somewhere useful instead of staying there. <laughs> yeah. 
Come on, little stun for him. Out to the side. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is? The... Why are you? Why is it so important having a stun foam on your back corner? I don't know. There could there could be a two D on the ball here, couldn't there? He's he's like if he powers this stun firmer, he can uh, he can do things. Yeah, and he can move. It's still a bit. The problem is. That He blocks the stone firmer backward. It's it's not ideal, still, is it? No, no, I'm not saying it's ideal, but something could happen. <laughs> he could also just try to hit those. He can almost actually get a hit on the on the tractor if he wanted to. <laughs> I don't think he's going to try. He could have done that on turn one, couldn't he? If he wanted to, I don't think he's going to bother with that. Yeah, let's see. Right, he's got the power anyway. <laughs> that could turn into a slightly bad turn the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's he's leaving four guys in contact at the moment, isn't he? I need, yeah, yeah. Got, how much guard has he got? It's ridiculous, isn't it? For four guard Ori lenses. Yeah, it's um, Elliot is the same. <laughs> um, Garion had only two, which was helpful. Um, and he got a, his his own uh, guards and phone call, standing by the sideline. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Yeah, stand for. I don't like it personally, but I guess you might as well if you've already got like budged up on the others. It's something a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it it, it allows you to do slightly different stuff to the side step. Yeah. Doing a good job of not rolling ones, isn't he, Aurelensis? It's a good uh, skill. Yeah. They don't teach you that in Red Roll. <laughs> <laughs> it just not roll ones against dwarves. <laughs> Invaluable. Oh, is it in the Rebel? Learn that. <laughs> oh, look maybe. Of I've just realised Orlensis has got the same logo as my Dark Elf, so it's appearing as Pokeball, which is quite good. Uh, I do like that logo. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Shame I had to quit OFL, but there you go. Best thing I ever did quitting all those leagues, to be honest. Yeah. I could have told you that ages ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much. It's just too. It's just too much stress and hassle, actually. Scheduling all the freaking games. Yeah. It makes it not fun actually playing him. Yeah. Um, oh, I also find it quite funny that you barely can see the picture of the dead roller because of all the skills <laughs> when you click on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Fun Fox. I, SFL was the one that I wanted to, to quit the least, to be fair. Oh, is he going to get an extra punch? Yes, he is. Grab, doing grabby stuff. Mm. Oh, he gets the big removal. But I tell you, do you know what I didn't like there? He uh, he stood up this this guard mighty blow, Norg, the long beard there. Yeah, and he could have got his stand firmer up there, couldn't he? In in that exact yeah, spot. but I, I think it's a very important for him yeah. to have a stand firm on the opposite corner of the of the big cage, than the other one. Yeah, <laughs> aesthetic, <laughs> it's aesthetics, make. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I have Maybe? no clue why it's so important. I'll mm. if 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 Ori goes behind him, I'll be happy. 
Oh yeah. Because that mean that means he can just push forward. Yeah, yeah. You really want to? I think you want it as far farther forward as possible. I mean, we we talked about this, didn't we? If you remember that match that uh oh in in the Rebel playoffs where some guy with dwarves and he just uh, wasn't. I still got nightmares. I still wake up crying. <laughs> Yeah. He just re- refused to move forward, didn't he? <laughs> I was. I remember. It was, it, was it the same with the one turn defense? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he just decided he didn't want to go anywhere, no matter how much space there was left to him. I'm <laughs> staying here. Yeah. It's all fine. <laughs> Brilliant. That is, uh, my first and only Re- rebel game. I've been semi casting. <laughs> Besides Rebel Clan. It's done. Finish with the best. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, string four is in the back as well, yeah. yeah. It's string four. The old string four is forward now. It's going crazy. It's yeah. in the middle. It, it, it's going crazy now. I like that he's marking the non dodge guy with him though, because he ain't got tackle, has he? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. If you want yeah. That is actually a sensible pick. And it's and also in this in the spot where it's actually hard for it to actually block it, so it's forced to dodge away, probably, yeah. or gets masked. But of course, Oriolensis hasn't had any problems running a 2+. So. <laughs> it, uh, it has a tendency to stop, and with Dark Elf, it's normally stopped in the turn where you don't want it to stop. Yeah, no, it's fucking stupid, isn't it? Like, I've had that so many games where you just roll 1-1-9 one, one in, in the entire game or whatever, and it's just when it's the worst point, isn't it? When that turn where you think, if I can just get him bad, then all, all is fine. Yeah. And then nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to make these three dodges. There's a one on the first one. Of course it is. Oh. <laughs> no. I understand that reroll, but. Uh... Oof. Greeded it. Uh, it's fair enough. Yeah, I, mean, to stand I can understand that. He wanted that shifted down. Yeah. Firm, but it does mean he has to hit Oof. some more. He's going in. He's going in hard. And that's glorious. Congrats, Ardvac. Um, Going in hard. He can block one of those. And he's not that afraid of the, of the tractor when there's a couple of guard on it. Going in hard. Oh, that's a good, good yellow thing. <laughs> But he... Thinking it? He better not... Oh, I was about to say, he better not miss that one. He did roll the one. <laughs> uh, it's a, there is some space if I can't even want to take it to the left now. It's typical, isn't it? He made all those dodges where he had a reroll available. And the first dodge where he doesn't have a reroll. <laughs> Instant one. <laughs> Why do you not smash that string four piece for fuck's sake? <laughs> he could have. He had an easy chip. He could have moved a guard around and then that long bit could have played string four and then you could have moved everybody to that side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That witch elf is not your problem. Yeah. I guess I guess it makes sense to him because like he is more on this side and he has got like a bit further forward this but side. One, but two, three, four. But it's not much. I know, no. But I'm just you know let's let's give yeah, him the I benefit of that. Yeah. Out, okay, fog. But <laughs> yeah, I can see why he does it. You're yeah, right. It, he is already there. But that strength, that piece is just so good. Yeah, this player is so good. <laughs> when you have the blitz over here, they could get forward and like do it. A bit of front screening as well. Yeah, yeah, and the fact that it was a stun. Like, if this guy wasn't a stun, he'd be a bit of a. Pin. Yeah, then it's been pointless. But with him being stunned, it was perfect. Yeah, yeah. But he's probably just got a bit of that, you know, tunnel mentality in it, where you. Uh... He, he knows where he wanted to go, and that. Yeah, exactly. Nothing stopping that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what I think. Hello, Kurgo. Wow, long time no see. The Kurgol himself is here. It's Fresh from up. SummerSlam. <laughs> Oops, another stun. Yep, and now. But who's three. going? He needs to. If that runner is going behind those guys, that guard piece needs to come forward as well. Glorious. Yep. 
No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Thought I'd stick my head in for a bit. Glorious. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kurgle, for staying fantastic for eight and a half beaver pregnancies. And at the start, Tony for ten over ten beaver pregnancies. Sorry that I forgot to thank Tony. I was just uh, I was just because I was going away, wasn't it? But thank you very much. Um, did you, you need that go extra go for it? No, he didn't. Did it need it? Did he? No, he didn't need it, but he did it anyway. He did it anyway because it's sterile and he likes the taste. Should he have moved the uh, blitzer before he made that block? Mm. If he's gonna not, if he's not gonna GFI, then he should have moved him, shouldn't he? Is he gonna GFI yeah. three, four, five? He might GFI to like trap the this guy in. But he's not really good at trapping anyway. Oh. But he did, and he he rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he going? He was not. Was he going to the uh, to take the witch off, or to just to stand there? I think he's just going to stand there and like make a bit of a screen and that. Mm, okay. I wouldn't have hated GFIing to to put him, you know, there because then you've got a screen with both stand firmers, haven't you? So there's more chance of it surviving as a screen. I I, I quite liked it one one square south. I don't really like him there. So I, I think I would have made the GFI to to that to the square below it. Yeah. Yeah, it's because standing there, it still goes to two plus out of one, two, three, four, five, six. You could still just touch around it then. Yeah. But now it doesn't matter. I guess you're right, Squirrel Dude. He might have been tempted into the minus two dice. But to be fair, I'm, I'm, if the, it fails. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Lentis will take it. Yeah, like that, that's the thing. The second that <coughs> you make the first GFI, then he can only uphill you, right? And if he goes for it with the uphill you there, then he, he pushes you once, and he's like sidestep to here, and then he pushes you again. You go to there, and you're surfing back, don't you? So it's it's it, a sidestepper though. So it is harder. Oh yeah, it is harder. Yeah, so you might not. Sidestep. But you could probably. Um, yeah. No, I think I think I think he didn't need the second GFI. <laughs> it is in fact. <laughs> there you go, confirmed. Confirmed by Kurgan himself. It is him in the armor. <laughs> <laughs> and it was definitely Tarsus in the armor as well. Yeah, and to be fair, actually, the sidestep, it will still, even if he did, the sidestep will need to think about it. Yeah. Um, because the tractor does have grab. Yes, yes, very good point. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that uh, Olenta will be uh, pretty aware of that fact. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because I, I think kind of commentating sometimes you kind of miss the fact that people have things like, for example, the the strength four with strip ball, which like not that it's relevant this match, but if you were just commentating on a match, you could forget that the the the, the, the fucking ridiculous yeah. move I mean, eight, strength on. four agility five guys got strip ball, but obviously Aurelensis is never going to forget that he's got strip ball because he's given him it, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, and we agreed on he better freaking hit that strength four. Yeah. Least this time. yeah. At least once, if not twice. Yeah. Yeah. And then you move back into the middle so you can go both ways. So so he cannot just hog the side like like he is now. Yeah, yeah. And actually that failed GFI isn't that bad because it's got him it's got him there anyway, hasn't it? Like it's got him into a good spot with it not breaking his arm. He's, it's not terrible. So either he's going now or you're freaking moving in. <laughs> Back to the into the middle. Yep. Oh, he nails him, but doesn't cas him. How can the yeah the runner can oh, But it's a really good uh, done again because now the runner can actually st stand there behind the guard potentially. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not ideal. But you need some more guard support around that blitzer. Why is that not a stand firm standing there again? <laughs> I'm, I'm asking stupid questions. But that that tackle, play, that blitzing piece could have gone to another square, and th those two should have been trains around. Yeah, yeah. That should have been stand firm and guard, not guard and stand firm, or whatever we told it. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a great a great match for Stan Firm, isn't it? You really don't want them to be able to block you instead of dodge away. Whereas if you've got Stan Firm, they've just they've got no choice but to dodge away, pretty much, have they? The rollers coming in. Oh, baby, makes the GFI. Well, that shows it up very nicely. And he's movement eight, seven, isn't he, this guy? So you move laterally one and still score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. Attrition fireball. Oh yeah, he's got a wizard. The dwarves have got a wizard. Indeed, indeed, Shone. He does have a bribe, yeah, bribe stadium he went with. Referee rest area. Dwarf, and he got enough bend so he doesn't have to feel it for two minutes. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a tough ask for Ori Lenses to like. <laughs> he, has two two, he had a couple of early alpha breaks. He did, yeah. yeah he did. He could have, if he had been even more lucky on those ones. Mm. God, Shawnee, <laughs> I, was, I was so close to calling you Shawnee shit hair. But then I realised. And now he did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realised that, yeah, it isn't shit. It's beautiful, so it, it didn't make any it sense. Was to always. Me. They'll always be in our minds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so, do we do? This is rough, isn't it? He just hasn't got enough elves, really. I don't think so. I mean, he can he can put the yeah. side steppers on the edges, I guess, and then see what he can get to cover <clears throat> less. But it's not easy, is it? No, and again. The, the, you might just, yeah. That um, wool. Are you giving him two dollars? Oh, wow. I was about to say, why do we give him two dice again? But yeah. okay. Ah, but then you get to stand firm again. Yeah. Fair yeah, enough. that's fine. Yeah. But he still have movements. He had one movement though, but he used it. Yeah, it he can't matter. base. Can't base the ball. Yeah, once you get the push in the first one. So yeah, that's fair enough actually. Yeah, I would have been inclined to uh, not stand firm, but yeah, that's yeah. I would have been, I would have been very much inclined to not stand firm and then get a one D and then. Uh... Especially because the both down is a wrestle wedge. Yeah. So yeah, that that will probably I mean a reason in itself for letting it go. Actually, tractor having grab is could be surprisingly useful for clearing a bat now. Yeah, yeah. Because string f guard stand firm can just stand up, string four can uh, push that guard to one side, and then you could, in theory, just hit the side stepper. Yeah, yeah, that's looking very, very strong, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, and if you want to, if you hit the guard side stepper pushing that back, you can blitz the witch elf as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, Orylens has put too much stuff over this side. He's still left him in there, and this guy, like, maybe he's, he put too much. Maybe he could have had another guy over this side. Because it's pretty hard to go this way, isn't it, at the moment? With these people, like, you know, it's like kind of a double screen, isn't it, with these two? With these three, with these two and him. I don't know. I feel like maybe he could have got another player over the other side. Why?
Okay. Uh, he's got I, I thought things. I was taking the three dice with the grab pushing him backwards. But I guess guess not. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's got multiple things he can do us. Yeah. But then he could have blitzed with tackle on the wrestle instead. Yeah, he done. The problem with that one was if the tackle doesn't work, then the sidestep is in the worst place. That was kind of my problem with that yeah. ordering of stuff. Yeah. It doesn't need to give. It's a movement seven runner. One, two, three. Yeah, four, he's, five, he's six, six away anyway. He could have even gone laterally. Laterally one. Yeah. But yeah, there's more my worrying with that turn on and Ross again, that sidestep could have been standing where the grab could have pushed him and then you couldn't have blitzed with tackle instead. Yeah. Yeah, it was it well it was a little bit sloppy, but fair enough, isn't it? It's uh... I wonder if Akania forgot he gave it grab now. <laughs> Oh dear, so... I guess, Jogger, I guess the good thing with doing it that way is Juggernaut that only works with the Blitz, I guess. Is that yeah. Why you want to Blitz with it instead of block with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, Bribe didn't, didn't work? No! <gasps> oh, no! Bribe was a one. Oh boy! The tractor is out! Oh man, and now Orlensis can foul for the entire half, can't he? <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick! Like he's got a rookie, he's got a rookie elf, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a rookie elf. He can just he, his shitty little Lano can just start fouling like a madman. <laughs> yeah, and there's no Jokernauts either. And uh, see again, if that witch had Jokernaut, he could have done a one turn with Moomin Eight. I'm just <laughs> saying, Jokernaut is better than that elf. Yeah, yeah, good, good point, good point. Uh, don't take Mighty Blow on Elves. Good point, yeah, he could have easily got the two pushes, couldn't he? Yeah, he's plenty guard, he just needs the Juggernaut Witch Elf to go with it. He needs three pushes, wouldn't he? Mm. Um, but you can get, uh, you need two Juggernauts. No, movement mm. aids, you need sprint, come on. Yeah, sprint. Yeah, he should have taken sprint instead of strip ball and juggernaut yeah, on his turn. witch elf and he'd have been sorted. <laughs> Probably find this turn anyway just to try to hurt some, uh, one of those stand turns. Thanks. <laughs> to be fair, in this game, I'm still pretty sure he preferred the juggernaut whatsoever. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He can't do it no. He could he could he couldn't even do it with Juggernaut. He'd need No, he's missing one square. Yeah, he'd need a quick snap to do it with Juggernaut. But it's still better odds than now. Yeah. Where now he literally needs Riot. Yeah. Now and his uh, elf is not fouling because it's set up to pass. Oh, Come on, you've got another one. You can set the other one in. Yeah, man, get fouling. Yeah. Come on, Ori. You got a bribe. Get that sweet foul equity going. <laughs> we both know first foul, Abo's gone, reroll is it's gone. And... Yeah, to be fair, may maybe wait till the second half for all the fouling, to be fair. Uh, uh, to be fair, it's a good opportunity to gank if you can get them down. It's a good opportunity to gank foul, a good one though. Yeah, true, yeah, it's a stand firm one, isn't it, with Daunt? Well, no, not... Well, yeah, he's got Daunt, he's got Strength 4, so the Dauntless yeah, could be yep. a thing. Yeah, I'm still taking that. Yeah, yeah, it could be, he could get a cheeky gun foul. In. He is, yeah, Seashark, because he's on 4 SPP, so he can level in this game, can't he, if he does two passes? Yeah. So we'll probably try it do that, and get him leveled. Because maybe he should have tried it with his Strength 4 to do two passes and a touchdown with him, and then he would have... Uh, <laughs> Level the strength four, which would be more powerful than re leveling the rookie. But to be fair, he might actually end up leveling the. If he's going to win this game, he might easily score two thirds out with him anyway. Yeah, maybe. Oh, what is he? No, he's on eighty-three. Is there anybody that's close? Oh. This is this is pathetic, isn't it? This is... <laughs> No, no killing anybody here. I know that if he doesn't get that one down, that's not even a good gang foul. No. Yeah. 
Oh. Um, he's still fouling. He's fouling with a guy. That's Landon. How many does he have? He did three assists? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's not exciting. Uh, four, no, is that a dwarf? I cannot see anything. No, that's four assist. Oh, four. Okay, four's not so bad. And that's plenty. If you just roll nine. <laughs> Sweet rerolls. Oh yeah. Why is he going off? He's been sent off. Why is he trundling away? That's weird, isn't it? Well, that was a huge bribe fail, wasn't it? That's. I bet Ori Lenses is happy about that. Yeah. As a spectator, that's a bit sad. I do like the track, so. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so tired, this is crazy. So, what do you do? <laughs> Physically incapable of two minute turns. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I mean, I'm not being nasty as a guinea, it's just funny, isn't it, with this whole physically incapable. <laughs> two minute turns then. <laughs> Running out of time on a three minute mm. turn. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what are you doing at sorry, yeah? <laughs> it's it was setting up I was I was trying to do a little bit of loose positioning and try to bait the wizard out so in regular time. Or do we just try to cage for eight turns and take it into overtime? Oh, I think you've even just got with to try the dwarves having the wizard. Yeah, I just think you've got to just try and score at all costs. I don't think you can be try to be clever about baiting out a wizard or anything. I think you just want to. It's just. Just do your best to fucking score. <laughs> Hello, Zoom. But like this is still dangerous, isn't he? He's got so much guard, so much mighty blow. Yeah, so and you don't, blows. and if you, and again, but the movement seven run also means if you score too early, with him having a wiz, it's yeah, it's rough, it's rough. I, I try, I would just try and start out a turn it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try yeah. to do any, I wouldn't try to do any wizard baiting nonsense. I would just. <laughs> to be fair, that might happen by itself, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, w I wouldn't. I wouldn't deliberately try to bait it or anything. I would just. I would just hope somehow I could stall it out to turn eight <laughs> against this hor horrible fucking dwarves. <laughs> you should. I was about to say. Do you engage or do you? It's a, yeah. You've almost got to engage a little bit. It seems you can foul, can't you? It seems you can get, you know, you can maybe get a big gang foul in, and you get you, yeah. by engaging, you get mighty blow as well, don't you? You could even, you could even like blitz the guy in the LOS and like push him back into a big foul. That'd be interesting. Have you? I cannot see. So that's one of them. The middle guy is got the turn. Yeah, but this guy on the outside look, with Mighty Blow is, Guard. He could why is guard, guards. Mighty Blow standing there and in the back line there's just the Mighty Blow? <laughs> yeah. Uh, guard. Yeah. Why, why, why is that guard Mighty Blow and that guard not switched around? Yeah, good point. Good point. So yeah, I, you, I wouldn't hate, it's, it's, you know, moving him across, blitzing him, blitzing him back and then getting a massive gang foul on him. Maybe he's just... Um, Psychic and know he's going to roll both down so he can get mind blow hits back. <laughs> Maybe. And no removals apart from the. Uh, apart two oh, no, there's, a, there's a KO. The Dark Elf had two KOs, right? And one is back. Yeah. The other one is. But the, the Death Roller has been sent off. Yeah, now we get a, a squeezy, a lonely man over there instead he can take. Another armor break. 
If you could have combined a couple of those, it would have been glorious. Yeah. Evening coffee. Yeah, he's uh, he's been looking down in uh, in the clue <laughs> in the future and knows that uh, Ori is going to mess up that blocking. <laughs> Oh, oh, not coffee monster. <laughs> yeah, that's not great, is it? Just a cheeky push. But it's fine for Ori still. It means he doesn't get hit. Yeah. And if there is the any, double I was, skulls. I was about to say anything, but uh, both downs and double skulls. <laughs> um, but I didn't even manage to finish my sentence. <laughs> um, I don't know if he's brought this rookie up here as well to protect the witch. He could go. I mean, he's got guard to protect her anyway. And he hasn't really got tacklers there, like guard there. But if I was a king, I'll go for the guard blitz anyway. Yeah. Not the size, probably not even the size table, but the, the guard blitz that are standing on the land screwers. Yeah, well, assuming we can reach, isn't it? <laughs> Realistically, you can't. He can't hit the other one. Because <laughs> he's slow as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turns out dwarves are pretty slow. But yeah, the line, if it moved forward, could have been standing, kind of protecting that blitz a bit as well, also. Yeah. Here comes the mighty blow. And still nothing. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Dark Elf. Dark Elf, but it can, it can easily, t t it can just easily switch, so it was so easy. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's weird this game. It would be it would be nice to gang foul the stand firm, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if he can realistically. Three assist foul on the stand firm. What the fuck are you doing, Kenny? <laughs> what is that little bunch of players? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is it protect the runner? Maybe, yeah. And to be fair, I'm, it's not really a bad idea because if they're going into a drive or an overtime or anything, that runner is pretty, pretty vital. It's his only runner, right? Yeah, I would have. I, would, I really like having a backup runner just because, just in case like something goes wrong, isn't it? It's really good to have a backup runner. I think, like you know, a higher TV. I don't like starting with them, but. Uh... Eventually, I really like it because then if you're just trying to two turn, you've got two runners for a bit more movement, haven't you? And yeah, yeah, now he's only had the blitzers, <laughs> yeah, and the runner. Really don't like um, only one runner, and he don't even have to throw a rock stadium like that. Throw a rock that was hitting, uh, hitting could he, the guard might have both stand firm if that had hit the ru runner, KO the runner, for example. Mm. In your drive, it's just game losing. Absolutely. Doesn't go for the surf. <laughs> Which he probably could have technically done, right? He'd moved a bunch yeah. of people around. Yeah. Uh, he could have blitzed and blocked and then surfed, probably. It sounds like something that would be fun to do when you're streaming CCL. Not as fun in a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. In a second round game, cup game. True. I'd still think about it though. <laughs> Just because it's like he's he's mighty blow guard, isn't he? It's pretty good to get rid of that guy. Yeah. Like yeah, I, I like it's... removing players. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, four guard. That's uh, and a mighty blow as well. That's so. There's five double and three four stats. Pretty, pretty a big amount of uh, his skills as his stats are doubles. Yeah, and he's got stand firm as well, so he's got an extra. Oh, then that's a stop. So it's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six doubles. Yeah, and then four and stats. four stats, where two of them is plus string. <laughs> yeah, not bad. 
but it's not that's not a string five player, which is a little bit. Uh, it's not the same, right? All the cool kids are string five players. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. The strength five runner was pretty great, wasn't it? Didn't even have to play a blood ball. Just, <laughs> just run around. And did but if, but that that one is a bit slow. It's better with movement eight, right? Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's also yeah. At least have a point like that runner makes him play a bit sloppy. Yeah. Uh, which he admittedly said as well. Like it makes him take some chances you will never do otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, probably just lucky, C sharp. Probably just lucky. Um, and it's dwarfs. You don't need uh, dwarf elves. You don't need to high on fire them. It's CCL. They will die. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> Oh, glorious. Elliot with a massive raid. Thank you very much. The Ginger Ninja. <laughs> Primetime Marble Streamer after you start. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> the Marble Streamer. Yeah, the absolute, the world famous Marble Streamer. He's an absolute badass. <laughs> the Ginger Ninja. Do you know what was funny? last night Sol was uh, Sol was streaming and uh, I wrote um, in the uh, in his chat and it got stopped by Automod um, I wrote Niggles are a lot better now <laughs> something <laughs> in the new in Blood Bowl 2020 <laughs> and then the Automod <laughs> the auto mod. Uh, stop that when it was it was of course a blood ball turn. But it's funny because they are a lot better, aren't they? Unless unless it's a uh, unless it's a mis mistype print whatever. And but it looks like they're only increasing your chance to die from an injury or whatever, which is brilliant, isn't it? Way better, way better than it used to be. PTK can't say anything right now, but interesting. <laughs> <laughs> just the shit which there died. No, no one cares. It is, uh, it, but you can say you can get the blame from Elliot having to play marbles now because I did suggest him playing marbles from remembering you played marbles ages ago. <laughs> right. So it is kind of your fault. <laughs> <laughs> By default. Uh, the marbles are back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I, I love the marbles to be fair, but the problem is it's a bit it's quite a bit of effort doing the marbles. So like people would, It's 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 bloody hard. Yeah, like you know, streaming wise it's 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 really not easy because you've got to do commentary and stuff, haven't you? So like everyone was like, Oh do marbles, do marbles, do marbles when I didn't want to stream, but it's actually hard streaming marbles. <laughs> it's blood easy just playing blood ball and Yeah. Yeah, I can play yeah. blood ball in my sleep. <laughs> just <laughs> just uh just you know, block things, isn't it? It's easy, but uh marbles you've got to like, you know, do things. Yeah, and must have made a. I've tried it a bit, but must have made the elder do do a really really good job at it. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. You've got you've got the commentary, and you've got the, uh, and you've got the, uh, like the camera and everything, haven't you? And you've got to do quite a lot. <laughs> um. Yeah, there might be stuns, but there's still only been a cast and a KO. I'll say from going into this game by turn ten. <laughs> Having the dwarf not doing more damage to you, I'm pretty sure that Oreo will be happy with that outcome. Um, <laughs> that's actually been quite some uh, cheeky stuns on the dwarfs as well. Oh, uh, and there's the kill! He's surely just going to apple that. He did apple that. I guess that's a non non brainer. That's a card mighty boost then, so. Yeah, but now he can get fouled by this blodge lino, maybe. Or oh, this blitzer, the guard blitzer might foul him with plus two. No, not when he's stunned. Next turn he might foul him. But it's a bit, he's... Uh, this guy, this guy com can he's committed, he's committed to go forward now. Yeah, it's pretty much, isn't he? With his strings four 
Bastardo or Fail standing down there. He might get squeezed uh, a bit, but as long as he can get like enough of a push forward, he might be able to like move past the mightn't he? Yeah, I don't think he's. Yeah, he's leaving the ball behind, but he's clearly good that way. It's a bit. Um, again, if if Akeni hadn't scored that drive, I would have been uh, tempted to just mark up some of those long bits. Yeah. Because then your next turn is pretty much free to run if he takes those blocks. And I'm pretty sure Akeni will take those blocks. <laughs> yeah, um, but this is nice, isn't it? it? These guys are out of it for a turn. And th this yeah. guy's out of it for a turn. So the next turn should be a good turn for Rory or Lens. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he decides to take the money blow hits, which I understand because he kind of needs. He needs to hog some long bits up now so he can get a move on. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, but it's been a lot nicer not thinking you could end up in overtime. Yeah. <laughs> Minimalist commentator. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it ever did hear that news that Zigani couldn't play some four minute turns. Yep. <laughs> I wouldn't mind 15% sleep. Oh, God. I could, imagine if you could find a game that you could go to sleep. Well, they're, they're fucking wrestling. The wrestling's pretty good. I could go to sleep while I was streaming wrestling. <laughs> I kind of miss the millions of six-man matches a day. I might, I might might do some more days of wrestling with just, like, loads of, loads of six-man matches. I just wish I was a hot girl, then I could stream myself sleeping, couldn't I? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. You think you can just go to sleep on me in the wrestling oh gym? Oh boy! It's Gorilla Metzo, is it? Or is it Skuro Metzo? I don't know, but there's Gorilla Metzo on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sticking around, but I heard that heresy. And, uh, Jim, without your yeps, I would have no validation for the things I say. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you got to stay awake at least enough, or at least make a bot that just says, yep, every, like, 90 seconds, and we'll probably be good. <laughs> and then you can then you can go to nappies times. <laughs> yeah, what I'll do for you, uh, Skuro, I'll just record, like, 10 different yeps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me a soundboard yeah. of Jim's. Yep, yep, hashtag Jimmy is the real champion. I won't use that one very much, but you can still give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Use it off stream, right? <laughs> yeah. That'd be amazing. And then the occasional... Oh, is this it? <laughs> <laughs> he kicked out. <laughs> He's gotten the top rope. Top rope, Johnny. <laughs> and uh, you need a couple... Uh, you need a couple neck massage... Comments. Oh, yeah. yeah, get him, Jim. <laughs> yeah, you you really do add nothing except an audience to this whole venture. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Why is it why isn't it Skuro with all the belts right now? <laughs> That's a good that. question. Oh, we, we're yeah. gonna see a surf look. Oh my gosh! How exciting! No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty terrible. Yeah, that was that was unlucky, wasn't it? That was. I'd be pretty um, pissed off about that. Four, five, six. He might actually need to dodge and go for it with that lineman now. A, a surf sea shark is uh, like pushing somebody off the field, so they go crowd surfing. Is the idea, and um, so if he pushed him to there, then he could have dodged through with him, dodged through with him, and surfed him. Uh, like pushed him in the crowd. I'm pretty, um, sure, but I'm pretty sure he's mainly just hoping to get that yellow thing and just knock it down and run through. Yeah, so I mean, both of them. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> if you if you powered, he would have taken the power for sure, and then just blitzed this guy and gone through. Yeah. yeah, because it's pretty awkward now. Yeah. Um. Ooh, what do you actually do? 
But like that's why I went for that. That's why I went for that block rather than like this block, wasn't it? Because he could have just done this block. Oh, going for you just use Reso. Ah yes, I'm, classic. I'm, I'm gonna have that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you, gorilla. <laughs> Screw up. Now he's down. <laughs> Whatever your name is. <laughs> There's one for bezel as well. Look, little bezel there. Little naked bezel. <laughs> bezel. <laughs> Oh dear me. I'll have to make Elliot in JFW, won't I? That's yeah. a good idea. That's a good idea, a cheeky Elliot character. I do have a lot of people to make, yeah, I'll have to do a stream where I just make characters. That's been a bit of a um, not useful turn for Ori with all the both stats. No, this is shit, wasn't it? He's just got his whole team based with an entire team of Mighty Blow. It's horrible. A horrible, horrible turn for Ori Lenses. Absolutely fucking horrible. Went about as bad as it could go. It's just everyone's in, literally everyone's in contact. Okay, so some of them were the down players, but like, that's horrible, isn't it? That's just horrible. This yeah. could go south really quickly now. Music. F Fandango. K98. I'm going to delete like 10 of the female wrestlers, to be honest, because they're not getting used, so... Did he actually use... Was that a whistle? Was that the wizard? He yeah, actually, I'm bold. He did actually um, accidentally baited out the wizard. Hmm. I would have not bolted here, I don't think. Just because you're in quite a strong position without it and you haven't really got a recovery, have you? I don't like that wizard, I'll be honest with you. Not a fan of that. Uh, it's He's, now he's relying on actually being able to not roll both down like uh, he's that's it's even with he get yeah, knocks downs it's not really going to be a great but that's the whole problem with the whole premises thing. Until now it's going fine because he is actually getting the yellow things. But if your statement is yeah, if I bowl this player and then knock four players down, I can get the ball. That's not <laughs> a great start. <laughs> no, yeah, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? There's one thing everyone being based up and you your butt clenching that he's gonna knock down loads of people, but he's probably not gonna knock them all down, right? He's probably only gonna knock about half of them down, probably not gonna break all of their armor, so it's probably not that bad, it just looks horrible and it's got the potential to be horrible, but And even if the runner gets the ball, where the fuck is the runner going? Yeah, no, I really don't like the wizard. It's going fine so far. He's uh but he cannot follow up there because then he's blocking the runner's free path. Oh, oh, that's pretty important. And he gets yellow things in all the blocks. Oh yeah, of course. Of, of course he powers every single one and makes two removals in an AV break. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> it's, oh God, it's crap in it, Blood Bowl. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I got free BBs, free BBs, free boobies installed on me by the NHS. So I can stream myself sleeping. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm using Wendy a lot. Oh man, McNaught. Picks it up, but now he needs to go for it twice. <laughs> Fuck's sake. No, I wouldn't delete Mia Khalifa now. And it all works. Oh my wow. God. What a look at dog. And a one dice power. And the armor well. And the cards. Oh my god. Okay, uh, that's. that's... <laughs> oh god. That's fun. Okay. 
but he can get easy. He can he can hit it. What a shit turn! If you take the if you take the two, I will not hate. You can take the two die again. So you can even jump up with the witch health. You can at least get a dice on it if you really want to. God, this is horrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it, that, was, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was a bad turn by Orelensis, like unlucky turn by Orelensis, because it was horrible because everything was based, right? It, it did look horrible. and But then that was still an absolute dicing that turn, wasn't it? Like, it was. How many blocks was it? Like, literally, it was about three, four, five blocks. And they were all pals. Four of them broke armor, three of them went off the pitch. Like, that's mental. <laughs> that's like insanely lucky. It, yeah. Did you see, uh, <laughs> talking about insanely lucky, did you see PC making um, 13 KOs and two casualties on a on a orc team? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, so, but they start saying 12 and 1 because one read and another one. Or something, and the other one, um, and I was at Apple used on the KO. Wow. He pushed one lineman. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the pointless one. lineman got pushed. Yep. And he KO'd with the bolt as well, didn't he? <laughs> so there was, like, another removal that turn as well. But, yeah, he'd, uh, at one point, there was 10 orcs KO'd. They were, the KOs were starting appearing in the, in the knockout box. No. <laughs> yeah, in the reserves box, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen I've seen Kaz in the KO box many a time. To be fair, yeah, but it's just but against he just have mighty blow against an armor ninety. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty lucky. It was ex it's absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah, he's got to keep me in contact, doesn't he? And do the one up. Yeah. Well, he didn't. He didn't stand firm. No, no, just... Um, I would have liked to have stood firm there. On the first one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I would have, re I would have stood firm on the first one to like keep the outside edge, if you like. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit the same as in the other, in the other, in the first half. Yeah. Where he was two into one. This time he decided to let the two into one happen. Yeah, similar situation, but I think this that time it was more important to hold your shape, and this time it wasn't. But I still would have done. And now it's probably going to die. No, unbelievable. No, of course not. It's armor eighty-seven. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. It was just funny how that had a turn in the first half. But he chose to use the stun firm but both of them. was thinking the same time it makes sense not to use it. Yeah, yeah, that was for the same thing. reasons, kind of. Yeah. But he can just run back now, can't he? And make this totally safe. He's going forward. Oh, it stays up there. I reckon. I think. I think he, he can blitz the strength four, can't he? See what happens. Blitz the strength four. See what happens then. He, Probably want to go back though, just because this guy can only get a little bit forward, but everything can go back, can't it? I'd go back. No, he's going forward, he's catching up, he's heading, yeah, that lineman and catching up in the middle of the field. Mm. What do you think, I don't, PTK? I don't particularly like going back because if, if that always best player is probably trying to do something crazy with that. So far. So if you lose the ball, the ball you don't want to be down. You want to be as far away from going in zone as possible. True, true. Uh, I still would have liked to have just blitzed him first and see what happened. Because yeah. if you cas him, then then you're pretty safe, aren't you? If you cas this guy, okay. If you KO this blitzer, you're pretty much safe there. Hmm. Hello, yeah. Marcel. It's a. It's a fine line and it's really tempting because you already have the two assists. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I would, I would have been very tempted. I would have hit him with mighty blow, 100%. 100%.
But yeah, I think he should. But those again, it's a little bit the same again, Pat, in the first half. Where he had some good chances where he could have chosen to go, go and hit it where he decided to leave it. Yeah, true. And it's hard to argue against hitting a defensive player either because that is more likely to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not criticizing him. Just again, this is the problem. This is the problem with the whole, you know, fucking rebel attitude of nothing's ever wrong because this is one of the things where it isn't wrong, right? <laughs> you know. It's, yeah, it's, especially because he is kind of out of range of string four now. Yeah. With all the amount of tackle it has to pass. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of. I can see that it's pretty, but it's... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I definitely wasn't saying he was wrong. No. But it's just not what I would have done. <laughs> uh, who to say him is right or wrong, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I've been doing, personally, I think I've been looking in the same direction. I came down to getting away from, from strings four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't updated the uh, the the tag champs of the uh, Das Hats now. They won in the pre-show wank. Oh, that's horrible! <laughs> horrible one there. Yeah. Because you ca you, ca you cannot not reroll it. You need that strength for you need everybody. Yep. And now you're running out of time because you need somebody to score with as well. Yeah, now he could, now he could think about going back. Because oh, except he can't hit this guy because he's got. He has, well, he can hit him and probably if he powers him. Again, I would think about trying to blitz the. Uh, oh, he didn't power. Him. Ooh. Ooh. I, was, I was about to say if you. Now it gets tricky, to... doesn't it? You've almost got to power this guy and go back to the middle, haven't you? Because like otherwise you can't, you know what I mean. These three have got to get into the game, haven't they? The three on the in the wide near the wide zone at the back, they've got to get into <clears> it. <throat> so you've almost got to go back in the middle now, and can't get the blitz, the strength four. So tricky. Yeah, Distance that, not really, but he could run back. Oh. people have I got to make recently? Oh, not that many recently. <laughs> A fat halfling. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Constant fame, can you? It's just that uh, eighty five at least now. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> right. One, two, three, leap. <laughs> But he, the good thing is, because he's definitely taken leap, he can go one, two, three, leap over, four, five, six, seven, and eight, square punch him. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I'm not. No. And number two problem is he also needs somebody in scoring range, otherwise it's pointless. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, so you're it's probably, start, you're probably starting with getting uh, that size that guard tackle piece of uh, one of those blitzers down in scoring range yeah, before you even do anything crazy. Yeah, I mean, there's pretty much, yeah, one, two. Gosh, it's brutal, isn't it? The strength four maybe just goes into scoring range and then. And then you try. Yeah, it's two dice uphill anyway, so yeah, why not? Yeah. And then you just start in and do the two die up yeah. Potentially, can can you change for something, do something to get another guard in? Probably not. <laughs> um, <laughs> make some mental dodges and hope for the best. No, but oh, wait a second. If you blitz the tackle guard on the left side, hurt them. Mm, now that guard was a bit. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. Okay. Rough now. Another oh, no, little cheeky stun. <laughs> well, that one turn lost it for Aurelensis and won it for Arcane, probably, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it, it doesn't help much with that blizzard going out. Who is the winner of those two plays? I cannot remember oh. which part of the bracket are those guys in. I've got no idea about the bracket. It's, it's so fast. I, I know, but I uh, I didn't even <laughs> I haven't even tried to understand it. <laughs> Good thing I have a link that helps out. Oh, wait a second, PTK. So they, it's uh, he's meeting some maker. Uh, He's, uh, the winner here is playing Andre's Lizards, which is underwhelming as best. Where the, where the Croxy Gore got missed next game. Right, post it again, please, PTK. Oh, um, the link of. Uh, yeah, because it doesn't come up, but for some reason. Uh, uh, they started doing. That's something. Um, at the same. There you oh, go. that's the wrong link. It's the wrong one. That's the right one. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, can I post links if I VIP? Oh yeah. Uh, so that's the competition, and that's the team the winner is going to play. Where the Croxy goes miss next game. So it's mm -hmm. literally a super skink. That's like a movement 984, sure <laughs> hands, sure feet. Sidestepping skink, but no sprint. Mm -hmm. And that's literally it. There's a, a mighty blow block tackle piece and a break tackle block. <coughs> Very thorough. And there's a block and there's three unskilled. Let's, let's put it away. It's underwhelming at best. Yeah. And the crocs being out is absolutely shit. The <laughs> uh, beat help. Uh, crazy! It's like a 2100 Nurgle team, literally because he got the ball in uh, overtime, and that super skink he couldn't <coughs> stop the super skink, <laughs> and got a touchback as well. It was a deep kick to touchback, so super skink even just got the ball in his hand to start with. On ça une passe de la Le coach a pris tous ces dieux lui la... Sorry, I just randomly coughing myself to death there. Uh, is um, Edge 4 is now 2 plus. No, Edge 5 can just be a 1 plus, can't it? But there might be some different limits to the stats in the new rule set. Oh, yes, I'm yeah. Going to... Like movement 9 being a, being a limit for no natural one turners anymore. Um. Can you... Did, did Arcane just pass the... Oh, and it scattered out of range from all the balls, <laughs> right? Yeah. But that, that's not... But he can uh, chain boost that to guard sidestep in range. Oh, he hasn't? He can. He needs an assist around. It's coming now, that's why he's blocking, so the guard can move in. Oh, the stand firm and not the sidestepper. 
Yeah, the, the stand firm, and that can actually be in range. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's pretty a pretty crazy hell Mary, but with a reroll and else. Yeah. I guess you do with the, the blitz with the strength four. Um, you need to. You know, Witzel can score as well. Yeah, because the, the, it's going to be a long pass, past, isn't it? I think what you're doing now is you take your part, you take your app with the pass rule on now and make sure there's not a difference between <laughs> those two. Yeah. And make sure it can actually pass. Um, I have a sneaky feeling that the angle might be too much, but um, yeah. First, I was thinking she was closer, but the angle did look too much. So yeah, it's with the witch is better. Yeah, sure. without counting and looking at my app, I cannot say. Yeah. Um, yeah this isn't I'm, hard, is it? Three, 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 two. Three, two. Three, That's four, not ridiculous. Five, four, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Can he actually pass to him? Well, we're gonna find out. <laughs> I think that's out of range. Yeah, it is out of range. But he can hope for a scatter, can't he? Yeah, he can pass blow. I was wondering if the witch elf was just as way out of range as well. I think so, because she was really wide. But why is that blitzer so far forward with movement 8, by the way? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have been one square back. But you still you can pass it so far as possible and hope it scatters. Yeah. He didn't Why even not? try. No, relances. Yeah. Why not pass to an empty square and hope? Could have hoped. Oh yeah, the witch could have just pushed, then pushed again, couldn't she? Yeah, yeah. So he could. Yeah, have, he, he could have, have tried, tried for the extra push as well. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, did he? Um, did he get pushes? Yeah, he did. Right. I think he got a push. No, or did he get power? power? I was in power, there's too many dice. Okay. He might only... Yeah, power score, I found it. Um, but anyway, just pass and hope it scatters three in the right way and then bounces. Yeah, yeah, obviously it was ridiculously small chance, but it's better than nothing. Like, we've seen crazy stuff happen before. Um, yeah. I watched that playoff game y yesterday where where the ghoul missed the pickup, it scattered into a dead body and back into the ghoul that then scored. Yeah. Like stuff yeah. like that. Hello, Elensis. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was ludicrously small chances, but could have could have tried. Just try to empty. You could try passing down to an empty square and hope it, it, it scattered three times and a bounce in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous when I'm saying it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like a one in a hundred chance is 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 more than nothing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's of course not good, but yeah, it was. Oh, hello, Arcane. Yeah, it was. It was br what a brutal, what a brutal turn that was. Orleans yeah. rolled all pushes and brought downs and stuff. Everyone was in contact. Uh, Kaney went for a, a ballsy wizard. Yeah, that one horrible turn exactly you were going to break through for. And then instead, everything's base. And I'm like, well, this shouldn't be so bad, is it? It's about five blocks. Should only knock them down about half the time. Should only break armor about half the time. And of course, it's just Kaz, KO, KO, Kaz, stun. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> and that, that was absolutely the, the crucial turn, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah, nothing until then. Yeah, I've been lucky until then, to be fair. Yeah, for sure. But if, yeah. Yeah. There was some... There was yeah, some the only thing we had was... Uh, was mainly a little bit interesting placement on Strength 4 and this shoot, and some of the um, stand firm on Akane's own drive. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. maybe a little bit too fixated to going down the right side at one point, where that was quite a good path to switch more central and go forward that way. Yeah, yeah. Again, not terrible. Just, uh, just, 
from watching from outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. With no pressure or anything, just think, oh, I should have probably done that. It's it's easy to come off too harsh, but obviously not really harsh. Both played well, of course, absolutely. Um, so yeah, congrats, Arcane. Commiserations, all rewards, races. <laughs> no defense was tough, obviously for the for the Delves. Yeah, there wasn't. I don't think there's a lot you could have done. Shit, bad. Just could have taken a could have taken Juggernaut on your Witch Elf and sprint on your uh, on your Blitzer, and then you could have won. Apart from that, yeah, there wasn't. <laughs> yeah, Strength Five Lizards, all right, isn't it? I don't know whether to take Guard or Mighty Blow. I really want to take. Mighty blow, obviously. I, I, I don't hate it as much. I just because people always just scream mighty blow on doubles all the time. I'm just by default now starting saying guard because guard is my and juggernauts and stuff like that is actually more beneficial for winning games than the occasionally mighty blow passes. Yeah, but that's the thing in it, like. <sighs> It's just hard to quantify, isn't it? You just literally don't know how to quantify it. That's yeah, and it depends a lot of you on how you want to play as well. Hmm. There will be games where Mighty Blow does win you the game for sure. Um, the problem, like the thing is, obviously, Guard is good for thirty-two turns, isn't it? Basically, if they don't get cast, like you know, it's it's active both players' turns every single turn of the game. It's relevant, isn't it? So Guard is pretty pretty good value. In that regard, but then mighty blow, you know, if you're two players up instead of even men, then you're probably going to win that game thanks to mighty blow. It's just, it's just more subtle, isn't it? Well, you can easily see that a guard guy is assisted multiple times. Ah. Oh. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Do you know what, I'm just going to have a fucking rest. I'm shattered. So I, I don't even want to play a 1% effort game because, to be honest, these are getting up more than 1% effort now, aren't they? <laughs> Three and over with a strength five, Saurus and a two skill Saurus. Yeah, that, exactly, yeah, Dev, yeah. Exactly, it's hard to... It's hard to mark people when they've got mighty blow, isn't it? So that's the thing. So and again, you know that stun that you make or or whatever because of mighty blow, it could win you the game because now your your source is free next turn when he wouldn't have been free if he'd had guard and stuff like that. So it's it's fucking it is really hard to quantify the effects of the different skills. Oh, well, it's fair enough, booing. I did want to play a game Blood Bowl, but I, you know, let's. I've got to be tipped up for claw, haven't I? I've got to be able to say yep occasionally. So with that in mind, <laughs> oh, I haven't ended the stream. Um, thank you very much, PTK, for the call cast. You're welcome, Jimmy. It was good fun. Thank you very much, and yeah, congrats, uh, Arcane. Commiserations, Oriolensis. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.